we're going to have to do something. Oh well. Maybe I can do it live. I'll do it. I'll try and do it live. If it doesn't work out, I'll, uh, I can wait to do it some other time. No big deal. But hello, everybody. Welcome. We are starting early as heck today, aren't we? There are more than one reason why. Okay. I can tell you that right now. But let's just say one of the big reasons, one of the big reasons is tonight here on Knockdown, we have a specially put together packed show with, I know the sun is still up, the sun is still up and we're doing wrestling. Mm -hmm. Crazy, right? But hello, Lexi. Hello, Dezen Hall. Hello, Silent Hero. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <sighs> so this is it. That, that's a thing? Is that is that seriously a thing? That's a thing going on? <laughs> All right, so... So we've got, like I said, a packed show. You don't know? <laughs> okay. All right. We obviously have a bunch of matches. Uh, a lot of the matches I have to set up myself. So just fair warning, I'm going to have to uh, set up the matches themselves because, well, like, for example, Lexi to, oh, two months till nice. Now, where did my shoes go? I left them at the soup store. What are you doing at the soup store? Oh, but hello, Jimbo. Welcome in. So... Let's put it this way, okay? Uh, the stuff going on here tonight has been specially made and curated for the upcoming to help get things rolling and get the stories told and going for the upcoming Flashpoint pay-per-view, which will be this coming weekend, which as of right now, It's going to be on Saturday. All right. As of right now, it is going to be on Saturday. If that changes, I will let everybody know on Twitter and so on and so forth. But as it stands right now, Flashpoint will be this coming Saturday. So, what do you say we go ahead, we start off tonight with the news. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with the big, obvious big news. That is that uh, four-way rivalry that I've got going on. Where... Uh, last week, uh, it was said that, hey, to try and calm things down, uh, we're only going to make sure two of those four individuals are going to be here on any show on any given night. If two of those individuals are here, the other two will not be. Now, will that ring true this week as well as we're getting close to Flashpoint? 
and a possible title match happening? We don't know, but we did see last week Johnny Viral and Woody Man. Where we saw Viral and Woody Man got into it, where last week, standing up to his uh, current enemy's aggression, Viral got even and gave Woody Man a good old knuckle sandwich or two. Alright, that happened. So, obviously, things Still heated, still going strong between all four of these people that we have seen. Even here on Knockdown or even Throwdown. What's going to happen tonight? Well, let's just say you're going to have to wait and see. But other than that, for uh, the world title, we also have things going on with the Knockdown. No. Uh, Clunky? As oh, Silent Hero, with the nice amount of months for the streak of being subscribed. But uh, with the knockdown title, we have Matt Dumpster Monkey. We saw last week he attacked Short Bus from behind after leaving him open with a distraction. Okay, that's one of the things you do. That's, that's how it's done. As, uh, now, obviously, these actions just go to show how much Dumpster is willing to do and how much contempt the attacker has for the eventual title match. Uh opponent that he's going to have to try and take that title away from him. Alright. Because Dumpster is obviously very full of himself. Very very sure of himself. And at this point I'm sure he just views Eric as an obstacle that needs to be removed. from the picture by force and it'll be by him is Tom still injured well hang on I haven't seen him come back yet there's no little random thing saying that hey Tom's back but he needs to be careful about possibly being re-injured. So, yes, as, as from the news section, he ain't back yet. So, anyway, that's with the knockdown title. But maybe I'll go into the actual stats and see, like, how long, like, the actual injury thing that he has, how long it's got to be, because there are varying levels. So, other than that, what the fuck? That was a cat. Okay. Alright, there is also... Oh, goodness. There's also things going on with the women's title. That's right, your most recent, newest GFW women's title holder, Neko Cell. We saw last week try to walk out of a match. That's right. Tried to walk out of a non-title match to an obvious... Okay. Show me. <laughs> to an uproar from the crowd. They did not like this was happening. Clearly trying to preserve her strength 
for an eventual title match. But here's the thing. Lena was there and made the champion go through her obligation of a match. And uh, before she could... You uh, what? <laughs> and before she could hightail it out there, Lena threw her back into the ring. We had ourselves a match. And we went on from there. Now what's going to happen now? I don't know. And of course, last but definitely not least... We've got this thing going on between Sam Mitchell and Reset Patrick. Okay? Where Reset Patrick's being his normal, terrible self. And Sam just trying to stand up for himself at this point. He's trying to get back and volley back all of the bull crap that Patrick is sending towards him. And ultimately... Sam has made it clear he's not backing down from whatever Patrick is putting up. Doesn't matter how rough or how crazy it gets. So, going to be interesting to see what happens there. Now then. That's all the major news on Knockdown. Patrick just needs to lose. <laughs> well, I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. They obviously have to wait and see. Got to have a big match, a big blow up, blow off match to see if he can be put in his place. <clears throat> so, that's all the big news. So what do you say we go ahead and we start the show? Welcome, welcome to a new week of GFW Wrestling. It is Tuesday. That means it's time for Knockdown. And we have lots to get to here tonight. We've got a packed show as we are getting ready for Flashpoint this coming weekend. Now we are live here in Mexico City, Mexico. So get ready for the action right now. Try and set up the thing.
All right. Now the chat is back on this screen in between things. So now, if you happen to be one of those wonderful people that watch on YouTube, you can see what the live chat says. And I don't sound like a crazy person. I mean, any more of a crazy person. <laughs> so you can actually see uh, what all the live people have to say. And remember, if you're watching this uh, at a later date, at a later time on YouTube, don't forget to, you know, do all of that uh, YouTube stuff. Like liking, subscribing, all that stuff. And for those here live that don't know about my YouTube, there it is right there. Where you can watch this show and a bunch of other unique stuff, playthroughs and whatnot, if you so choose. So yeah, anyway self-shilling out of the way let's go ahead let's get this show started and we've got a big match to start it off with you ready for this you ready for this we've got that's right johnny viral versus the gfw champion me Just got to load it up here, obviously. And we'll get right down to business. All right, here we go. Me, viral, kind of, sort of, rematch-ish, but not really. Obviously, he was the title holder. I have the title. All that stuff. So, here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Knockdown. We're starting off big here tonight as we've got this guy versus the GFW champion, a red robe. Here he is, the man in the club, only for one. That's right, it's the Viral Club, Johnny Viral. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the club from Buffalo, New York. Weighing in at Wait, who 200. That? Who's that? Pounds. What's going on? V. Who is that? It's dark. I can't tell. Who is that hiding in the shadows? What do they have? Who the? Wait. Oh, no. That's silent. No, stop it. Stop it. No, we cannot. We are not having this. Not tonight. We will be right back when we get this under control. Also, why was Viral immediately the winner? That's because he was supposed to have a match against me and Silent Hero uh, interfering made Viral the winner. That's why. It's one of those things. It's like disqualification. I know. It's just what it's just what happened this time. But hey, that's okay. All right, that's don't pay no attention to what happened there. Just all that matters is silent attacked viral with a freaking kendo stick. That's the main thing.
He wants the... I know he does. And he doesn't want anybody else to fight me. So he's got a tick. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll, I'll get to that, obviously. I'll get to that. The main thing is Silent trying to take out his competition to get to me. All right. But anyway, anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on to the next match. All right. And up next, we've got your knockdown champion. That's right. The nut champion is here. Short Boss Eric versus Alan... Don Broski. All right, welcome back to Knockdown. We have things under control. All right. Silent has been led. Viral has, has been looked at. Doesn't seem too bad. I mean, a kendo stick, it, it hurts. But hey, look who we got here now to make up for the following contest. What's going on? We've got the knockdown fall. champ here. Making his way to the ring from South Carolina. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The national undisputed television champion, superstar Eric. That's right, there he is. Your nut champion, Short Bus Eric. All right, now here comes his opponent tonight on Knockdown. Tonight on his show, it's and his opponent this from the internet guy, in at 215 Alan pounds, Dombrowski. the redneck, Alan Daddy. Oh my, okay. Eric seems to be uh, having his, uh, not, I, I should say, not having his uh, pick of opponents as of late, but hey, he is here. He is definitely putting up with him, to say, putting up with them, to say the least. So now the bell is rung, we have begun, and already a cover from the champ. As now, oh look at this, just lifted him up on the shoulder from flat on the back, and a power slam, put him back on the mat. Going again with a cover, but no, it's still too early. As now, Eric going out, going up. Ref yelling at him, but he's up there. He's ready to fly. Here he goes from the top. Boom, right to the top of the head. Uh, I, I guess that's his head. I don't, I'm not sure, but whatever. Big splash for a follow-up. And now, oh, scoops him up. And snaps him back down. Now, trying again, trying to end this match, but only a two count. 
And oh, Don Broski trying, but missing the moment, allowing Eric to grab and toss and keep the momentum in this match. The champ. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, turning that around into a DDT. As you can hear, the people definitely not in favor of the likes of uh, Don Broski getting the upper hand or possibly winning this here tonight. Is Oh, he eats the knee of the champ there. And now, oh, it's showtime, everybody! Eric puts him down, grabs the leg, and only two. And, oh, that's a counter. Eric on the ropes here. Oh, oh, okay. Little leg on the ropes for leverage. Don Broski with an opportunity here. Oh, where is he dragging him? Where is he taking him? Oh, getting him away from the ropes to try for a cover. But, nope. Not gonna take on that arm before taking himself to the top rope, turning around, and that's a big moonsault from the top. Nails Eric with every bit of it, and again to the arm. As I've gotta say, Eric, he is the knockdown champ, and ever since really getting a hold of the title, he has been a fighting champ. He has had his hands full as, oh! Nice counter there into a cover, but only a one count. Eric now, uh-oh, uh-oh, climbing up, but Dombrowski's up, he's right there. And a quick shot, but Eric off the top, nails him. And turn and boom, nails him once again. And now Eric climbing up again. He's going from on high. Don Broski getting up though. Eric, oh, with the eclipse and the cover. Three. There is your winner, the knockdown nut champion. Short bus, Eric. Good win here tonight for Eric. Here to start. Oh, oh no! Oh my! Oh! Another kendo stick! Just took out the champ! Oh no! We'll be right back. All right. Now it's time to do to do the Thing with the uh, matches real quick
right, there's them. And we've got this one. There we go. And where are you at? There you are. There's that one, and... Alright, that's it. Alright! Let's go ahead, let's load up the next match, now that all the matches are as they should be for tonight. Now then, up next, we have Anya versus Lexi. Can Lexi get another win here tonight? This time against the kitten, the kitty, Anya. Welcome back to Knockdown, and look who we got now. The Kitty has come back to play the here on Knockdown. It's Anya Kitty, that's right. For one-on-one -on -one action. Her way to the ring. 
from Ireland, Kitty Anna. Oh, but now for her opponent. Here comes Lexi. And from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Lex. All right, here we go, a match between Anya and Lexi. Here we go, look at Lexi go. From the outset, just laying in. As, oh, what is this, Lexi, Lexi, what are you doing? Lexi here on the side of the ring, no, Lexi, oh my God! Lexi being br absolutely brutal from moment one. As now we are here on the outside as it looks like Anya gonna take this opportunity, but no! Uh-oh. Whoa, stopping short of those steel steps. Lexi climbing back into the ring. Look at her. Taunting Anya, telling her, come on, get back in. Get back in, come on. She does, the ref's in between them. And, oh, big chop. Dodging that in Zaguri. And, oh, what is this? With the arm. And, oh, Lexi. Now climbing up. Turning around. Look at this. Oh, she overshot it. Got a little too overzealous there. And nice dodge from Anya. Anya, though, showing that given an opportunity, this cat has some claws, but Lexi not giving her many opportunities. Oh, with the knees now into a cover. Two. And the shoulder comes up. Because now I got to think what has truly been going through Lexi's mind here these past couple of weeks. Ever since the last pay per view, so we're coming up on the next one. Ever since what she did to finally get a win over the likes of uh, Tiffany Townsend. And how after embracing this darkness, as now a cover is made, but only two how she's been doing, what she's been doing. As, oh, there we go. Like I said, she's got some claws and she's ready to use them. And now Lexi in the corner. 
Oh no, there's her head into the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh, here we go, off and over and down into a cover from the corner, Anya, no! And oh, that's a chop. And boom. Anya. Laying into her. Now here we go. Look at her over on the second rope. Waiting. Up and oh. Oh, Lexi catches her. And oh my God. Not once, but twice. And oh Jesus, a third power bomb. And whoa, okay. And okay, got a quick cover here. And the shoulder comes up. Lexi still in this. But Anya trying with some big moves, some big hits to try and get her down. And the people here in the arena loving this match so far. And now it is from behind. Oh, wow! Right on her head. Look at this, Lexi in the corner. What's she doing? What's she thinking running? Oh, right to the side of the skull. Grabbing the leg for the cover. Three, that does it. Anya gave it a good try, but Lexi wins again, but... As we look at these replays, this is a tried and true win. All by herself, unlike, unfortunately, what happened at the last pay-per-view against Tiffany. Here is your winner, Lexi. But she's happy with this win in this moment. As we'll be back with more here next on Knockdown. <laughs> All right, the rematch. The rematch was better than the original. All right, that that hardly ever happens. Why is there a victory screen that? I don't know. I imported everything. It might not have saved. It might not have changed. No? I don't think she is. I mean, she sure as hell shouldn't be, considering when she comes out, like, people boo her. No, I mean, I'll go in and I'll check. And I'll change it. But she should not be a face, that is for sure, because all she's done, if you haven't noticed, all she's done is take on and beat characters that are good guys, that are faces. 
I knew fucking Woody was gonna say something. I knew it. Alright, the next match though is loaded up, ready to go, and it's, well, another women's match, so let's have Meg versus Ramona Prince. Technically two tag teams coming out here for one-on-one -on -one action. Welcome back to Knockdown, everybody. We got another match coming your way. It's, oh, okay. It's supposed to be a one on one match, but it looks like we're getting a whole team. The Here comes the Alliance. Four, one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Asa Ashley Morgan, representing the Alliance from Concord, California, Megan. All right, there she is with Ashley. It's Meg, but it looks like we've got the whole alliance here. Or at least, well, one other of the alliance. Now... For her opponent, and I think we're getting the whole shebang here as well. Yep, there and they are. Accompanied by Yuri Hayabusa, representing Havoc from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Assassin Prince. All right, there she is, Ramona. Set for one-on-one -on -one action, but. Bringing her tag team partner out as well. Keeping things nice and even. All right, we've had ourselves a tumultuous time here on Knockdown tonight from the start. As the bell has rung, we are underway with this match is... Okay. Oh, really? Okay, well. You'll be happy to know, everybody. I've just been informed that... Here up next, after this match, we are actually going to have a match agreed upon by both one Johnny Viral and Silent Hero. We're going to have ourselves a bit of a hardcore Falls Count Anywhere match between Silent and Johnny Viral here next after this match. Because apparently if Silent wants to fight. Viral is more than willing to give him a fight. And with a match like that, I think we're going to get ourselves a heck of a fight. There might be um, more than kendo sticks in store for us. You never know. Now, okay. And now here we are. Up oh, on the shoulders goes Meg, and oh, okay. It's not what I thought that was gonna be, but hey, okay. 
Ramona in control here. Section. What? Wait. What's she doing? What's going on? Oh my goodness, Meg! Good gravy, Meg. Here, twisting and turning and getting this match back in her favor at at the moment. I mean, it's still a little early. It could be anyone's. Oh, whoa, whoa! What is this, Yuri? Hayabusa on the side of the ring here, allowing her partner time to recover and do a little bit of this. You see her just fling her across the ring. Good God. And now, Ramona up top, waiting for Meg to get up. Off she goes and, oh, barely misses the mark. Able to recover in time, gonna put her off the ropes and, oh, okay. Nice dodge, but oh no, in seven, bomb. From Meg as now she's setting up, here it comes. She's got her. The Cali, no, no reversal, a reversal from Ramona. Is that, oh, the, the ref. Little distracted, missing the leg drop. Meg with some kicks to the leg and a drop kick. In a cover. Two, no. Is now apparently somebody, I wonder who, oh, oh, again. Again, getting in her face, but Meg gets caught by Ramona, and a cover. Two, no. I gotta say, Ramona and Yuri out here doing Meg dirty. And now up on the shoulders, oh no, oh no, oh, into the ropes and everything. We've got a cover, but she's under those ropes. Catching a kick, dragon screw takedown from Meg. And oh, that was a bad time to placate to the crowd, Meg. Ramona, that's how you do it right there. Your opponent is down and nearly out. Now going after the leg. Quick cover. Could this be it? Almost a three count. And now look at her. Taking a nice comfy spot here for this submission. Meg able to hold out. Gotta let go. But how much longer? Oh wait, no, she's got her in seven bomb out of nowhere. And again, Yuri on the ropes. But the ref not paying attention, going for the count, but only a two count is had. And oh, again, she's on the ropes. Distracting Meg, Meg not falling for it this time. I think Yuri might have overplayed her hand at this point. And oh, a drop kick to the back. She's on the ropes, but no, she's not staying on those ropes. And now scoop, oh, right to the side, into a cover, two and three, Meg has done it. Meg 
despite the interference, somehow. And now, the handshake between partners. There's your winner. As we'll be back with your next match. I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was just an exhibition match. I don't know what that was. It was weird, though. I mean, it was just a handshake between tag team partners. That's all it was. That's all it was. <laughs> So now, I wasn't lying, our next match is, like I said, Silent Hero versus Johnny Viral. That's right, it's going to be really hardcore. Falls count anywhere. Extreme rules, anything goes. So, if Silent Hero is looking to take out Looking to take out his competition, especially the likes of Viral. This is the place to do it. All right, so. That's okay, I can just do this. And there we go. There it is. I hit the wrong button. There it is, Johnny Viral versus Silent Hero. Here we go. You ready? You guys ready for this? All right. Welcome back to Knockdown, everybody. We've got the match. Here it comes. Fuck, I didn't edit this out. God damn it. Oh, 
Okay, let's try this again. Apparently, I forgot to take that bit out. <laughs> Just so you know, I did all of this this morning. <laughs> Because, let's just say, I was a little miffed that I couldn't do what I initially wanted to do this morning. Anyway, here we go. Alright, welcome back to Knocked Out, everybody. And now it is time for the match. As we've got, finally, for a match coming out here, Johnny Viral agreeing and help putting this match together the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring representing the club from buffalo new york weighing in at 256 pounds johnny v i mean he got he got to say the least, cheated out of his match against the GFW champ, so if Silent wants to fight, Viro is more than willing to give him a real good fight. Because remember, this is anything goes. Extreme, falls count anywhere, inside, outside the ring, doesn't matter. Take on Johnny Viral one on one here. I gotta say, for someone like Silent here, this has got to be some unfortunate circumstances because you can tell these past weeks he has wanted nothing more than to get his hands on the champion, but, well, we have seen... We have seen that, unfortunately... There are more than just him that won a hold of that title, and we have also seen Silent has had a good idea, a good strategy in a matter of speaking. Because we have seen him out here almost week after week, night after night, trying to take out the other two. Trying to take out Viral. Trying to take out Woody Man, even. And the thing is, here tonight, this might be a real good opportunity 
if he can do it, if he can get the upper hand here to take out Viral. And now look at this off the ropes, but oh, that's got to be rough. So Viral going to take advantage with a cover, but no. Now here we go. And now we'll whoop over. Goodness gracious. There, that's a way to do it. Silent in control, but unfortunately a counter. Silent trying to continue going again. Another cover from Silent here. And now lefts and rights, and oh, the kick catches. Silent, but Silent able to kick him away. Silent, oh, look at this, running. Watch out, and that's a stomp. Oh, but Viro able to catch him. Shoulders are down, but only good for a one count. Uh, here we go. What's Viro got in store now? How can he continue this? Where is he? Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Up, up, over, and on the floor. We are on the floor on the outside now. This ain't good. As now, Viral continuing this here in front of the official's table. Uh oh, this ain't good. It's, oh, nice German suplex here. As uh oh. Oh, kick to the midsection. As now. Okay, silent. Going ahead, going back in. A, Lyman, what is this? Off the ropes! And, oh, nails him as soon as he gets back into the ring. Viral now thrown over the top rope to the floor, but Silent, oh my God, Silent from the top rope. As now Silent Hero over here. Okay, what, what, oh, apparently he's looking for something. Can't quite find it, but oh, running and oh, Inzaguri. And now, whoa, running, rolling, heel kick. Couple more punches, kicks, keeping Viral down. And uh-oh, uh-oh, Viral is down. Silent Hero with a kendo stick again. He's got another kendo stick. Watch out, Viral. Oh! right to the face but viral has him up and tokyo lift but that's a counter viral oh a miss with a standing moonsault here and silent thrown down range quickly running for a cover Silent able to kick out. And that's a block. Another step up in Zaguri. Silent going back. He's got the kendo stick again. And oh, no. Off across the back and oh, no, just shatters the stick. Off the head is no, what is he doing? What is he doing? Silent Hero clearing off the official's table here at ringside. That's not gonna be good. This ain't gonna be good. Oh, and oh no, viral able to counter. And a drop kick. And oh, into the side of the table. And now Silent Hero. Oh no. Oh no, Silent Hero's on the table. Silent Hero's on the table. Viral. Viral's got him. 
Viral's got him now. The Viral Buster on through the table. Silent Hero's down. The cover is made. The one, the two, the three. Oh my God. Viral with the win. As wait, wait, no. Who is this? Who is this? What is going on? Is that? Wait, no, that's, is that Woody? That's Woody Man. That's Woody Man in the entrance. What is he doing here? Why? What is going on here tonight? Viral is standing for it. He's coming down and there it is. Fists are flying. It's absolute insanity here tonight. Finally, we've got to go. We've got to get this under control. We'll be right back. Okay, so. That happened. Minus five stars. <laughs> All right, so a little bit behind the scenes thing. Obviously, that type of interaction was supposed to happen between Woody and Viral on Knockdown. Because I did my uh, education, went and looked it up, and so on and so forth. And I was like, okay, how can I make this cooler, better, that type of stuff? And it was one of those things where, unfortunately, for something like that to happen, Viral had to win. Because I tried, I tried uh, to, like, have you win, Silent Hero. Because, as you can obviously tell, I, I did the match a few times considering how it edited it is, is it is. Um, but the cutscene wouldn't prop if Viral didn't win. So I was like, okay, Viral has to win. I can at least make this look really cool. And what's cooler than, well, two people beating the crap out of each other, and somebody going through a table, somebody breaking a weapon over somebody's face. You know, that whole deal. You sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> Just because that match happened doesn't mean it's all over. What do you think is happening right before our eyes? <laughs> what do you win?
The oh, you mean like when will you change your attire and such? I don't know. That sounds like a good thing to have happen at a big event, doesn't it? I mean, come on. I mean, look at that, Lexi. Lexi knows. All right, well, we've got another match. God damn it, I thought I blocked those. <laughs> For some clothes. All right, this is our next match. We've got the hardcore champ in action. Dezen Hall versus Barrel Dragon. All right, everybody, this, this night has just been incredible, crazy incredible. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 262 pounds. The Hardcore Champion, Crimson D. Zinc Hall. All right, now here comes the Hardcore Champion, Dezen Hall in a, um, well, I mean, it's not a hardcore match here tonight. He'll be taking on a, well, somebody we have seen in the past be very hardcore, but... To be honest, with everything that is happening, I don't think we could we could handle another hardcore match because tonight, like I said, has been just off the rails. out here now for his opponent there he comes opponent, it's the dragon it's New barrel York. dragon at 243 pounds Dwayne the dragon
All right, here we go. Barrel Dragon and Hall is, oh, head first into the top turnbuckle. Desen Hall running in, oh, nails him, but oh, I think, yeah, I think Barrel already busted open here. Look, that's not, that doesn't look good. Come on, this was supposed to be a nice regular exhibition match here. But no, things have taken a turn for the bloody. As now, Hall won't leave the legs of the dragon alone. Jeez. And now off the ropes and big knee to the face here. And oh, missing with the elbow. Out of those barrel. A moment. Can he make possibly a comeback from all that here? Is that I gotta say? Here over the past weeks, we have really, as of yet, as. Oh, we are? Is that true? Oh, okay. Well, um. I was gonna say. We haven't, I was gonna say, we haven't really had anybody really step up and really figure out who a number one contender is. But apparently, we're actually going to be uh, finding out in some sort of match, they won't tell me what, here on our next show on Thursday. So that, that'll that be something to look forward to. Also makes me wonder what kind of match it could be. I mean, who have the officials? I mean, you see them over there. I mean, we luckily rebuilt their desks after the last match. And whoa, nicely done. Nice show of power there from the Dragon, goes for a cover. Makes me uh, wonder who the officials have uh, deemed, like who could possibly want to go in and take on, well, the hardcore champ as we see here. Oh, kick to the midsection. And oh, and right to the back of the head. Off the rope and, oh, Barrow able to get up and dodge out of the way. And off the ropes, pop-up powerbomb. But Hall able to counter, gets him up with a big old boot to the face. Hall now in the other corner. Wait a minute, here he comes, the running knee. Nine in the mouth. There's a cover. Oh, no! Unfortunately, just one away from the victory. This match will continue on, but I think Barrel might be on borrowed time at this point. Oh, wait, no, reversal, but... Oh, a cutter! Incredible from Hall there, out of nowhere. There's a two, and only a two, and he's arguing with the ref. And the people here at ringside loving this match. And look at this, off the ropes. And oh, with the knee to the bloody face of Barrel Dragon. And oh my God, it, it, the blood is just getting worse here. But Barrel with Desen on the ropes. And oh, with the leg here. Okay. And scooped up. This ain't good. Marching across the ring. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Goodness! Looks like we are on the outside now. And another quick pop up power bomb. Two. 
And now Barrow trying to take out the legs of the hardcore champ. Uh-oh, here we go, the dragon looking. The dragon's got him in his sights. Oh, there it is. The cover. Two. No. The champ kicks out. The shoulder goes up. But the dragon perches on high. And big. No, the knees come up at the last second. But. He counters! And now some right hands to the champ's face. Oh, there we go. And there's another knee to the bloody face of Barrel Dragon and now a stomp to follow it up. And oh, look at the blood. Look at it, everybody. Oh my God, he's reaching back. Can Barrel hold on? Oh, he does, he's gotta let go. And, oh, okay, what is this? He's taking a freaking bow now before going back on the attack. Look at him, just lift him up. Oh, shoulders down! And only two. And now, oh, here we go. The Crimson One is ready. Here it comes. He's up and boom, nails him. Barrels down. Two, three, that does it. What a match. Barrel Dragon held on, bloody and beaten, but could not get the victory. And now look at him. But, oh, Desmond Hall knows a good fight when he's had one. Shakes the man's hand, and that does it. We'll be back with more here next on Knockdown. Crimson hot dog. <laughs> uh, shoot. Alrighty then. Next match loading up. All right, the next match is loaded up as we've got Gage Parcher versus Mr. Lock.
All right, welcome back to Knockdown. We've got another match coming your way. As we've got one of those trainer guys you might know, you might like. Here he comes. Gage Parker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the internet. Weighing in at 210 pounds, the monster, Masters Gage Parcher. And his opponent from Huntsville, Alabama, weighing in at 229 pounds, Mr. L. And now for his opponent, that's right, it's Mr. Locke. Coming out here now, one-on-one -on -one action here tonight on Knockdown. All right, there is the bell. As now, oh wait. Okay, I'm, he, he's not. Okay, as this match begins, we've got another one apparently coming up here in just a little bit, apparently. Apparently viral wanting uh, to pull double, do or, I mean, is it technically double duty? He's supposed to be in a match. As oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What's going on? That's, that's Bolin. That's Sean Bolin from the Hang Time crew. And now, oh, the roll up. The distraction with the roll up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now that'll give Parcher a little bit of the edge here. Gotta say, that was sneaky, deaky, deaky, sneaky there. Bolin almost costing Locke the match here tonight. But, before that happened, and I was mentioning apparently, I guess, I don't know. Double or triple duty here tonight. Either way, as a cover is made, viral. Going to be in another match here in just a little bit. Wanting to go ahead and go one-on-one -on -one with Woody Man after what he did coming out at the end of his match just, you know, a couple minutes or however long ago. I don't know. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I mean, he just went through a match. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know. If Viral wants it, if Woody... 
I don't know. But here we go, Mr. Locke here off the ropes, Moonsault missing the mark, unfortunately. And a counter back to his feet. Gage scoop slams. Follows up with an elbow. And uh oh, here we go. No, that's not gonna lead looking good for Locke. There's a cover. Two. No. Not yet. Now Gage from the top. Oh! Rolling through with that elbow. There's a cover immediately after. And he's able to get the three count. There you see him almost grabbing the victory. Thanks to that distraction by Bolin earlier. But hey, he kept up the pressure, kept up the assault. And he managed to get the win here tonight on Knockdown. And him, and also apparently here in a little bit, we're here also gonna have a match. The monster Masters between Johnny Viral and Woody Man. Parcher. Oh goodness. What a night this has been, and we'll have more of it up next on Knockdown. One Tuesday, it's been a crazy Tuesday. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a, a, a jam packed night. Lots of stuff happening. Now the next match is loaded up, and guess what? It's a tag team match. It's a women's match as well. I still haven't seen any jam. <laughs> well, here's what we have up next in this tag team match. We have... That's right. Neko Cell and Lena on a team versus Miss T and Cynthia Amber. 
for some reason. Yep, this is definitely going to end well. So let's get to it. All right, welcome back to Knockdown as we've got, well, let's just say we've got one of them matches. That's right, it's a tag team match. And I've got a bad feeling about it. I'm the sure you do contest. too. As here comes the women's four, champ, Neko Introducing Sal. first. Representing the iconic duo from Mexico City, Mexico, the women's world champion, Nick O'Sal. And yep, here comes her partner, the boss, Lena Morales. And her partner, representing the family from Queens, New York, the boss, Lisa Morales. Here we go. Ta oh, yep. 
There, here it starts. Here it starts. All right. The, looks like the champ, the one that wanted to be in this match first. As now, if anything, if one thing is for sure with these type of matches, one thing I can give the officials the higher ups, at least they're keeping things somewhat fair by using another two people thrown together. As we see here, is okay, there's a te Oh, <laughs> oh, Lena! Lena! with a bounce move saying nope to that tag <laughs> leaving here just now leaving she just left she's back in the back now leaving the champ here all on her own And now here it is. If if, if if there was any time for Neko Cell to truly prove and show us all why she is the champ, it's right here in this type of situation. As here you see, I mean, obviously someone like Cynthia Amber should be very, very comfortable in this type of situation after we saw what uh, she and, well, Lexi and such did to the likes of uh, Tiffany Townsend. But now here we go. Whoa, whoop, nope. And, oh, nicely done by Neko Cell. Look at her, she's like, nope, nope. Not happening, but she gets the diving tag to bring in Miss Thickens. Miss T in here, snap there, and oh, an elbow. Now, Cynthia Amber has to go on the outside. And now standing in, oh, moonsault. And only. And now, here we go. Tag made. Oh, off the ropes and oh, able to catch her. Neko Cell, I gotta say, she's got oh quite the uphill battle. I will say it will be amazing. If she is somehow, some way, able to come through and get the win, but with what's happening right now, I don't see that happening. Oh, oh, look at this. Got her. That's a submission. Is the champ going to tap? Can she hold out? Will she hold on? Yep, gotta let go. But no, she's able to power out of it a bit. Snap. Up and... Oh! She backs up to get the tag. Dodging that. As now Neko Cell grabs Misty, puts her in the corner. And oh, here we go. Ten. 
And a knee right in the back. And quick Hurricane Rana. And bonk right to the side of the head. Goes for a cover. And a broken up pin there. Here we go, standing moon ball, able to connect. Quickly grabs the leg though. And only two. Make himself off the ropes and full body. Splash able to connect, but Miss T counter. Goes over, gets the tag to bring in Cynthia Amber. Definitely needed is, uh-oh, double under hook. There it is. There we go. That'll turn things right around as a cover is made. And she's out. Is that, is that, and believe it or not, whew. Up next, we've got Johnny Viral in another match. As now, up next, like I said, it's Johnny Viral versus Woody Man next. As we look at these replays, as unfortunately, Neko Cell unable to do the next to impossible here tonight on Knockdown. Here are your winners. As Cynthia Amber and Miss T come out with a win tonight. And again, we'll be back with more here next on Knockdown. Yeah, gotta love it when a glitch makes it into the replay. <laughs> But hey, at least I didn't have to restart the whole fucking match, okay? At least I didn't have to do that. So... All right, like I said, we got another match coming up. Ready for this? That's right, Woody Man versus Johnny Viral. I can only imagine what's gonna happen here, right? So, here we go. And here we go, we've got another match with Johnny Viral this time. Versus this man with a chair in hand, the wooden warrior, Woody Man, coming out here. From New York, weighing in at 274 pounds. As now, oh, wait. Wood Man. Wait, who is that? In the darkness? No, not again. Wait, is that viral? Who is that? Who is that? Wait, is that Silent Hero? No, not again. No. Come on, we've got a main event. To get to no 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 don't do it oh god why silent why no stop it all right we'll be right back with the main event
chair right in the face. So therefore, tonight, let's think of it this way. Tonight, Silent Hero has beaten the crap out of Johnny Viral, had a match with Johnny Viral that he lost, but still beat the crap out of Johnny Viral. That Woody Man... That Woody Man interfered with at the end, after the match, that I then made Silent Hero attack Woody with a chair <laughs> to take out his fucking uh to take out his uh opponents but now but now it's time for the main event Is we've got Sam Mitchell versus Reset Patrick. All right, we are back, and the main event is ready to go. As oh, well, come on. Come on, Reset Patrick coming down to the ring, already running his mouth, and Patrick there, look at that. Patrick attacks. The ref, thank you, does something, but no. No. Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is not happening. This is not happening. What a jerk. After tonight, come on. Okay, we're still going to have a match, thankfully. As with everything that has happened tonight, with everybody, with like, I mean, Silent Hero coming out here. What is it? Two, three times tonight? Attacking people, breaking things, and trying to, obviously he's trying to take out his competition. It's, it's not a secret at this point. After what he just did, After what he just did to the likes of Woody Man, I I would not want to be the champ. I mean, thankfully, the champ rolled left, I, I want to say some time ago, but... Let's now look at Patrick. He's having his way with Sam Mitchell here. This is, this is not a good way, not a good sign. From the moment we started here, Patrick has been definitely in control. Oh, come on with the arm and the hand. This is now, this is some main event, some night here on Knockdown. I can only imagine what's going to happen this Thursday as we head into the weekend and Flashpoint. And now, oh, not again, not again. Come on, Patrick. Why? Why do you do this? And you can hear the resounding booze, for lack of a better word, from the crowd here. And Patrick, no, oh, wait. Here we go. Sam, no, countered and suffer his hug. As now there is a cover. By Patrick, two, three, oh! And now here it is, reset, press, slam, with the leg hooked, two, three, there is your winner. Once again, Patrick.
has done it. He has taken down Sam Mitchell with the use of the bull crap. It's, it's a bunch of bull is what it is. But Patrick is just a terrible person, but hey, it got him the win here tonight on Knockdown in the main event. As we look at the replays here. Here is your winner, Showtime Patrick Braden. All right, well, that is it for Knockdown here tonight. Again, it'll be time for Throwdown before you know it, and I'll see you then.